So we're in July and we're going to give you a little tour of our greenhouse in July. Right in front of me here we have uh, a Filipino corn which is, yeah, it's pretty much going to space. <laughs> so beyond that, uh, I want to show you our grapes that's in the pot. And if we can come over here, we'll get a good look at them. These are the ones that we tinned out earlier on and we have different batches. So uh, really pleased with them. So far so good. Uh, at this stage we'd expect these to be maybe sometime in August to be ready I would say. I've taken cuttings of that particular grape. Uh, find it uh, one of the best grapes that we have. So over here I've um, got yakon and this is a, a, a tuber that is growing happily away here. It's our first time growing it and um, we haven't seen any flower in it yet and uh, we will see what happens with that. It's quite late but here we have a thick a cutting of uh, one of our figs and uh, this is a summer cutting which is a little, a little bit more risky and to do but uh, it was successful for us. Here we have our uh, uh, excuse me, uh, yes, our Ukrainian melon, and we'll see if we can get you in to see a little baby melon. Well, yeah, right here. That's a little baby melon that's in the in the making. Here you'll see our tomatoes, and um, you'll see there's a little bit of blight on them. If you have that, you can just cut it off, take it off, clean off your tomato. We've already did a little bit of a cleaning on this. And um, you just get any of your little branches here. These particular varieties, if they're, um, there's the two different types, determinate and indeterminate. One kind of grows a, a more uh, aggressively and will continue to grow almost endlessly. And you'd want to keep them in check just to give yourself a single uh, stem. So, over here we have some more. These are our black cherry uh, tomatoes. And if we come over here, we will see some of the fruit, fruit and flowers. What we do, if you want to get your, your, um, your cherry trained, in, and let's say you have a branch in the way, you can simply go around like this. Uh, yeah, that's right. Go around like this. Try not to break it, but you do your best. And you trim out any of these smaller little leaves. They're only taking away light from the plant. So just get them, flip them out of there. And you can see all of these guys. If you have them uh, indoors like us, and there may not be wind, so you, you can give them a shake. Give them a shake for like a half a minute, and this will help the pollen to um, to spread, and uh, they'll self-fertilize themselves. Give them out the leaves there. So, um, let's see. Here we have some more tomatoes. We have a lot of tomatoes planted. Here we have uh, something else from the Philippines. This is called bitter gourd. And bitter gourd is uh, something we grew last year very successfully. It actually grew so successfully, it even grew outside. And um, what, well, we take we can take a leaf off of here and these are great in cooking. You can um, use them and they're good for like bringing down diabetes. And they're quite tasty, a little bit bitter, hence the name. So, we have more tomatoes here. We're going to show you some of our tomatoes. You can see right here. These are probably some of our early ones. If the plant is growing, just get the light of, of the, the lower vines sometimes. And let the light in there. So, um, we'll go... Over here, 
to our fig. We had our uh, first crop of uh, Breba figs on here. Mm. And now you can see we have our main crop. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> we have our main crop growing right here. I don't know if we can see the little fig. Uh, no, we definitely don't shake it. No, no, no. That's, that's definitely not a game plan. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, above here we have... What do we have above here anyway? You want to show it? Point it out? We have our um, grapes. See? Grapes. You like grapes. And they're growing quite nicely. Um, I've actually taken record of how they're growing. And in this particular one, it's grown uh, 58 inches uh, since up to June 4th from the beginning of its growing in, grow, grow in the growing season. Then from June 4th to July 9th, it grew this much. And this is our weakest performing grape. Um, our other ones have grown a lot more. That has grown uh, over five foot in the same period of time. Here we have, oh, we definitely don't want to let our consumer here, our little consumer, find these, because he will pick them, and you might have the same problem. Uh, he'll pick yours too if he gets a hold of them. These are our seedless grapes, and they're a pink variety, but they're doing quite nicely. You can see right here. And they are in the pot, they're not even in the ground. But we'll figure out a game plan for them to start next year. So we'll move along. Welcome. Here we have um, some of the fig cuttings. I'm just letting them fire away here. We have a cabbage that somehow we forgot about and he's still growing away here. Um, here we have a tomato. As I said, pluck out those little stimmings that take away from your tomato. Because they take away from what, uh, mm. the growing of your little tomatoes mm. right here. Here we have another one over on this side. You see the stem? Just pluck it out. Go back. And then go forth like that. Back and forth. That's all there's to it. This particular one now is still in a pot. Because we're a little tight on room. But we will see if we can get them to fruit. And then if we get them to fruit... We are talking about planting them outside because from there they can they can get the remaining of the rest of the season. Um, let's see. Here we have squash. My wife planted this, and the idea is to get this to train up on this uh, cheap wire. And um, it's growing quite vigorously. We're waiting for it to flower. Here we have our one of our uh, red sunflowers. So we're really pleased with that. And we'll show you maybe later on one of the, one of the flowers that's, uh, that they're, they're a beautiful looking flower. We have a couple more of our grapes here. I'm letting these guys go. And uh, they're not doing too much in, in fruit and they are yet in the pots. We have one batch right here. Uh, I'm just letting it fire away. The big thing with them, if you want to control them is to check, keep them into check and don't let these, uh, branch out like this especially where the grapes is not getting access to light so um, if, it, if the light was if it was interfered here yeah definitely take it out um, you can control them up at the top and um, well we have our uh, gardener over here it looks like he's got uh, What's wrong? Huh? Nothing? Uh. Here we have calamansi. This is our uh, orange, little orange uh, in the pot. And there is a little calamansi in there. There is some young little fruit that's coming along. Um, we're not terribly successful with this, but we'll, we'll see how we get on. Uh, we'll go over here. 
you have more melons planted in here and uh, again they are in the same process of fruiting. Here we want to show you something different. This is uh, a mango and the little baby mango. My wife got this to grow from uh, seed and it's doing quite nicely. So really excited about that. We'll see how that one goes. And beside it is uh, little baby peppers, I believe. And uh, what's this over here, dear? It's a flower. Oh, flower. There we go. I'm not sure what that was. Here we have definitely another flower. This is borage. And you can see this is a really beautiful flower. They use this They in, um, oh, I guess you could say fancy restaurants. They put these onto, onto the menu, the flower, just to add a little color to it. And uh, they use them in... Uh, cocktails you dip the little flower into a into the um into the cocktail or you can use them in ice cubes and all that business if you're into that um <clears throat> we will show you some more of our grapes over here that are um growing i don't know if you can see it right here so as of yet um, I said we are concentrating ma mainly on getting the grape, the vine to grow to the full extent, to the full width of the greenhouse. And that's where we are right now. We're over halfway in its growth across the greenhouse. When we get halfway, we'll stop it. And then we will uh, focus on the grapes. But even as of now, we still have grapes. Hopefully. This is another uh, grape. And you can see this one starting to get red here so thank you for joining us um we wish you well please subscribe if you like our videos and uh, hit the notifications button you'll be aware of any future videos take care of yourself god bless How's that? <laughs>